Hey guys, Cam Photopix here and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add a old black and white film effect or RT effect to your images to give it that wee bit more depth and crispness to make it feel more like a black and white uh, print. So this is uh, one of the images here I'm going to use for the video and what you want to do is duplicate the layer first so duplicate layer and then what we want to do is you basically want to fill this layer so you want to go to image nope, edit then fill and you want to fill it with 50% grey mode normal and opacity 100 click OK now it's gave you this kind of grey card now what you want to do is you want to add noise to this so what we'll do is filter, noise, add noise. Now this is basically your own personal preference. Make sure it's set on Gaussian and then add the amount of noise as you can see here. The amount of noise that's shown up on the image. Uh, what I'm going to do is just add, we'll add 16 point, no we'll go a wee bit less, 9.51, okay that. Now that we've got that done, what I want to do is on the options here, click down and you want to select linear light. And now as you can see it's added noise from before to after the image. So now that we've done that, we want to go back up to filter and down to blur and then Gaussian blur. And what this does is this just smooths out the noise that you can see here. So what we'll do is we'll keep this down to about 1.7 and uh, it just gives a wee bit more nicer feel to your images, makes it feel more authentic and more old school black and white. So this was the before which is very nice image, clean, crisp and then adding in your noise it just adds and another thing what you can do as well is if you want to make the noise that wee bit bigger is if we right click and zoom out and go up to edit and then free transform now this is this will basically transform the digital noise that you've just added and as you can see the noise is moving about the screen, it's basically just stretched the noise that wee bit so you get a different effect. Once you've done that, double click and then we can zoom straight back in again and there you have it now. So that's before and after and even still if once you've done this effect you think it's a wee bit too much you can always just click on the fill and bring it down slightly. And that's how, or one way how you can add an old black and white or RT effect to your black and white images. Alright guys, thanks very much and uh, keep watching for more Photoshop tutorials and gear reviews. Cheers.